Hello and welcome to the board game basin with me, A Z. Ghosty. And Ghosty's mate is once again the fabulous Alice. And we're here to talk about Medora. Um and uh, what 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 a lot to talk about, I suppose, and where to begin. So this game is by Succubus Publishing. Stay sexy. That's what he said. I feel like we're doing that pretty well. We try. We try. <laughs> we try. <laughs> we try. We try. And um, it was released a while ago, a few years ago, um, and it was designed as a story-based adventure game um, whereby you take control of many characters that proceed through an epic adventure uh, revolving around three acts. They released the first act, um, which went down well. Everybody enjoyed it, except at the end of it, they came to realise that um, everyone was way too powerful to even think about continuing on to the next act, which was a little bit a little bit daft. So then they they sort of pulled it back to release the one point one, um, and that's what I got hold of and started playing. So I never played the previous one. I wanted to wait for this version of it, simply because I didn't want to spoil anything or be OP'd. As, um, as everything went on and I've I've not been disappointed at all me ghosty and Alice have been very absorbed by this get by, by this game yeah, loved it. the the effort straight straight <laughs> away the effort that's gone into this is is clearly seen um, if we want to take it to basics components wise really nice your there's lots of them as you can see i'm leaning on about 10 tons of them i have to put them into these little cases so otherwise i go mad i'm not sure how anyone piles things up anymore but i have these things to keep to keep stuff in which works quite well many of you will have played gloomhaven and you need something like that for that absolutely so um, it's a similar sort of thing in terms of keeping everything awry but even though there's a lot of stuff which there is it's not that bad in terms of um, it's not it's not as boggling as it may seem off the bat cards are lovely mm. really the well artwork printed is amazing, isn't it? yeah as Alex says the artwork is out of this world um, the the book is huge it's biblical um, and it contains more story than I've ever seen before um, which is really which is really nice to see to be honest um, the boards which you play on, <coughs> really nice. They've got that 3D kind of graphics on them where they try and make little bits pop out to make it easier. I really like that. I've always liked that in other games, so that was a good add um, to this one. Lots of cards, lots of gear, lots of things going on. Miniatures wise, um, they're okay. <laughs> They are. I say that a lot. And they, they're I? okay. I, really, I do. I've been saying that a lot okay. about things, but they are. I think. But yeah. again, miniature competition, especially if you're thinking about painting them, is high. So you have to be kind of critical mm. of those sort of things. Um, but they are. Yeah, they, we, they are okay. They're not. Um, I wouldn't paint these. No. Because the the quality isn't there to paint. Um, but I don't think they were designed to be. You get all the monsters and things as cardboard pieces. Um, yeah, I put it in that bag there. Um, and also your characters as well come as little tokens to move around. So they're not, it's not necessary to have the, um, the figures. But I like the figures. I would rather have yeah. figures than not. They, There's some amazing ones, but... Mm. They have made resin figures, though, for the game, which you could order on top. I didn't, but I have some of those coming, so I will be doing a little bit of a look at these and look at these later on down the line. Sure. Yeah, show and tell, bring Mr. School. We will <laughs> think. But, um, <coughs> so it'd be interesting to see the difference between that. Like I said, the miniatures are fine. They're not necessary for the game. They really aren't. Yeah. The game itself revolves around an evolving story where you are these characters that are, we're just leaving some sort of school. We're taking a test to try and go out into this new world uh, and survive. We all seem to be um, kind of upper class princessy princes. Most of them. Most of us are. Most of them. Got a deep oh, no, tail. half the team. Yeah, half the team. Half the team is. But even the other one's got some sort of special. So, yeah, yeah we're a bit special people. Special. We feel special. We're a bit special people. <laughs> um, special. And 
The idea is you can go along and you can customise these characters as you want. You can build them up to be whatever sort of character that you want in terms of your gear. I like that. Um, and you follow a story from the start to the end. You flip that page and you flip that page and flip that page. It's different because most games that you play that have a storybook element to them, it will be very flicked to one page, just go to page 371 to keep going or go to the... This doesn't have that. It is, a, it is like reading a book. Mm. Um, and there is so much detail and so much text in it. But it really brings the game and the world to light. It really does. That They really did think about this. You have to be interested in this theme. Absolutely. Mm. I would say that off the bat. If, if anime kind of... That kind of world is not yeah. your thing, you're probably mm. not going to get on with this. Just bit. That goes without saying, I think, for any board game. If the theme isn't there for you, the it's, it's <laughs> not. But if, if you think that you might get on with the theme, I would honestly say play this game. Mm. If you've any, any of you played Kingdom Death... How that, how your characters um, evolve in that is a very similar feel, with the amount of gear and the amount of things that you're trying to get um, that you can see the possibilities that you can see growing. It very much has that feel to it, which I love. Absolutely, Kingdom Death, but was by no means a perfect game at all. But my gosh, it was fun, and it was interesting to play. And um, this has that same. <laughs> For me, that same draw of I want to keep playing. Mm. You know, you, it, it 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 leaves you on moments where you, you want to you want to know what happens next. Don't well, you? We and were so tired last night. <laughs> we, 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 were playing. we wanted to <laughs> we wanted to carry on so much, but um, but yeah, it's it's got it's got a lot of things to it that um, you know I feel like some things miss and. That thought process really shines through throughout the game that we've been playing. They've covered everything really, haven't they? They have. Yeah. They, they have. Um, we're only at the beginning -y bits of the tale. Mm -hmm. We're getting into it now. We're getting into the steady flow of things and we're going to keep playing. Um, but that's... For, for, to feel that way about a game so soon and after a good week of playing it um, every day is is a good feeling i think if you've got that feeling it's it's mega some of the dig ups that i obviously want to give criticism but i obviously want to talk about things that may be an issue for certain people or things that we kind of said oh you know that's it, it could have done with this why didn't it have this um so i will say i am nitpicking but that's just because of doing a, a review really um nitpicking wise Player boards, you need a player board for this game, absolutely. Does if this you, not come with games, is it? No, so you, you don't oh, get that okay. if you just buy the back. They're, they're part of like the, you could add on mm. the um, player mats. F because there's a lot of stuff and a lot of gear and a lot of things, I'm not really sure how you would set this up <laughs> without something mm. telling you where everything needed to be. Even if you printed off your own sheets and yeah. stuck them down and used that, I would... I would always recommend playing this game with a sheet just because there's a lot going on and pl placement of items. It's organised. It. Yeah, you need it organised because mm. there's, otherwise it would get quite boggly. Mm. It's missing dials as well. That is really irritating. You, your health, your um, defence, uh, your movement is being changed by items, effects, mm -hmm. all sorts of things. If your memory you just have to. Mind. Well, I don't, I don't think you need to even... Because <laughs> you, you're involved in the game and you're thinking about the game. And yeah. You, you know, you want to just... You want to be considering your health, your things as you go along and making adjustments to that. Dials. You know, lots of games have dials now. Give us dials that we can twist and change and then that just sets our maximum. And then we alter that from there because going, well, how many have I got? Oh, yes, this much. You know, so many times is a bit annoying. You can do it. It's not overly complex, like so, you know, like other games that have just tried to baffle us with numbers. Um, it doesn't do that, but it would. It would be helpful. I've ordered some um, some uh, homemade dials off Etsy for this game. 
just to just to take away that which I'm just going to etch with health, defence, and um, and things like that. Just to add to that bit of ease, really. Just take away a bit of the um, admin of the game because you want to be playing it. And uh, part of the fun of the game is trying to make your character better. So mm. you want to be interested in changing those numbers and making yourself better. But at the same time, you don't want it to become a numbers game where you're just going. And I have seven, and now I have three. Yeah. I have I think with the dice, though, how that works, you know, with, you know, you can have the shields and things mm. like that. I was worried. Maths is not my strong point. I'm getting better. <laughs> but I, I panic automatically when I see lots of numbers and things that I need to add together. But this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. No. And it's, I did panic it's a not, little bit. And it, it's, it's not as bad as, as, as you think it's going to be, that for sure. Mm. Um, dials would make it easier. Yeah. But... As Alice is saying, it, it it makes it makes it, the rules make it sound like there's more going on than there is. Mm. The rule book is a is a is a funny one because I'm a stickler for rule books. I'm a very much a pick up and play kind of person. I like it when they walk you through stuff. But I also understand that's not always possible. And this the book does that when you start playing. It introduces you to little bits. As you go along so it does try to walk you through what you've read in that rule book the rule book is easy to read it's it's laid out fine um they but they, they've they've placed things in areas at, with with the mindset of ease of read mm -hmm. however when you will come to a point where you think what is the rule for this and you're trying to then look through it that's a bit of a pain because it's not set out in that way where you would automatically go oh it's here it was within this bit it might be in a different bit that's talking about something regarding that get bookmarks yeah it's i've had to get a little bookmarks for our rule book just to pop into bits that i'm using frequently but i i i don't i don't think there's a better there's a better no. way of doing that no i think the rule book set out in a decent way and as soon as you get your head around a few things you're okay. Like we're looking up less and less now, aren't we? Yeah, like yeah. Every time, like we you get, get into the hang and of the it, battle system and attack things sounds complex and then very drawn out, but it really isn't. It actually isn't. Um, it's again, if you play Kingdom Death, it's the getting your mindset between attacking and damage, and those yeah. two things are separate, um, which sometimes a lot of games don't utilize, and that can be. That's the thing, like my attack and out. my <laughs> damage are two different things. Um, and that happens in this game. But I like that because it gives you, you can add in those other elements which they've used like dodge and counter and stuff like that, which in the rule book, it goes through the entire stream as if you were facing a monster that could do every single one of these things. And you think, my God, the steps are 20 steps long. When in actual fact, it's not. The steps are very basic. It's just certain monsters might use one point out of this whole thing that you have to add in but it gives you the order of where it would come in that attack that you're doing yeah. um and so it makes sense when you play when but, you're in that situation yeah yeah when yeah. you're in that when you're in that situation it makes a lot of sense um there is chance in this game like with anything a lot of it is dice rolling based there's been many a time we've gone in and just done absolutely nothing but touch wood I've only had one school thingy. Oh, for your bonuses. Mm. Yeah, we have actually. Now we're going to get... Now we're gonna I know, I took it. Yeah, Absolutely. we're going to get millions in now. <laughs> so there's a risk reward in the game. You can try and manipulate things in your favour with XP when you're gaining sort of um, benefits to your characters that you want to add on. There's skill trees. You, the, the the options are so open to you. No character is funneled down one way of this person should be doing this or this person should be doing that. I like that. The game tells you from the off, you know, you will be changing characters. Certain characters might go off to do something else or you might elect that character to go off and do something else, in which case someone else would step in and you've got to re-gear that person then. I think that's really good. It's exciting. It means that um, you're not limited and you've also got those options of 
playing different characters in the same game. You know, you might want one of your characters to be a bit more of a tank, you might want one to be a support. Everybody gets a chance to do that. This game was designed as a four player game, so they built the story around four people, um, which is you know mega clear in the book they're all talking to each other and chatting um when i was reading some some bits and bobs and some forum stuff on the game they were kind of saying you know oh we, we think that the two player variant and the three player variant were a bit of an afterthought because they kind of plonked those on on the website and not in the book i am disappointed that in the new rule book they didn't put those in because i feel like they should have done whether that's because they want this to be played as four player and or not, it mentions it in the book, but it says go to our website for the details. Put it in the book. If it's the rules, put it in the book. Mm -hmm. Because we're using the two player variant. And I like that a lot better. I couldn't imagine trying to run two characters. What is in just you playing one person? No, no, no. I couldn't imagine me playing two. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Is it like this? Right. You get what I'm saying, don't you? Mm. Yeah. So imagine if you were playing Rook as well as that at the same time. Okay, but we're sort of just half playing them at the moment. But that's the variant. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. So the variant is that you play one one character, but then one of the other characters in the four is your linked character, and they give you bonuses. So essentially your health has doubled, and... Um, you get some of their abilities attached to your characters and so when they come up in the initiative order you your character would just go again with the bonuses that you've got so in essence instead of four people having one go two people get two goes with that character they've changed scenarios for the two player variant to stop certain things being too easy so they've they've gone through it and tried to make sure that it's not OP'd, they've halved your loot, you you gain less, so it balances it out. And so far we've we've found that's been absolutely fine, haven't mm, we? We've yeah. not we've 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 had to struggle through it, as you would I'd imagine four player. Mm. Um you should have to get bored with it if somebody else had their go. Yeah, I I, <laughs> just think, I don't know whether I want to play it four player. Mm. Now because you just want to get on and yeah, do it, you don't you? Do you get so exactly. excited. It's exciting. And I don't know if I would want to play it for a player. I probably would give it a try. But mm. again, because the game requires so much investment, I think once you've started, to put the brakes on would be really disappointing mm. um, for the game. I do want to see them continue on with the game, especially going into the next Act 2 and 3 that they were going to do. One of the things on here is the lovely app that they've done. Um, we recently put a poll out on the Board Game Basement about whether apps are the future of board gaming. And we had interesting results. I think it was 50-50 split. It was 50-50, yeah. 50-50 split, straight split. Mm. Now, I probably wasn't very clear about that because um, if you're playing Nussfjord, I can't imagine anyone making an app for something like that to optimise your Nordic fishery. But if you're playing games like these... Mm. I 100% think that an app's in Moss. This app reads the book for mm. you, and that's what it does. Just, just all it does is read it. Pretty, pretty, pretty much like the uh, Tainted Grail app, if you've got that. It just reads the book. Um, I don't mind reading. I like reading. Um, but there's, <laughs> there's a hell of a lot in yeah, this. Lot. There is a lot of this. So some person's going to get a dry throat if they're going, if they're really putting on into this. I think it adds to it, though, personally. I, yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I would say you need this. Mm. Um, but you can use it an iPad or a phone just to play it out loud would be absolutely fine. You wouldn't need anything like a telly or anything like that. Um, but having that played so everyone could listen to it and then get on with what you need to do, mm. I think makes a massive difference. I think they've only done one chapter in this, so I want to see them keeping this going. I don't want to see them put the brakes on that because that would be very annoying. I think if we were discussing this last no. night, it'd be an easy thing for loads of games to do. You could literally get people volunteering to do it. Yeah. I, I, I think a lot, a lot do, but I think there's a lot of stigma around it, and I think mm. a lot of companies are afraid that they'll put people but off. But it's a choice, saying, though, isn't it? Like, you can say, there's an, app. It, there's an app there, if you want to use it, use it. Mm. If not, don't. It doesn't affect the game whether you use it or not. No. Uh, for this one, no, absolutely, because mm. all of us read. Yeah. But there are other games out there where, you know, the 
um, Gloomhaven, for example, I wouldn't play that game without the app. Why not? Because it's, it's too much. Okay. The, get the app removes so much admin that you get to play the game. You can just and play and the enjoy game. the game. Enjoy the game, yeah. yeah. It gets rid of all the cards, the million and one cards. You can half the room of your table with that app. I wouldn't play that game without it. I you have know, a big and many, well. many people would disagree and say, you know, they like that. Um, but I think it's good that they've given me the option of doing either or. Mm. I do. Yeah. Um, but it's why I appreciate it when publishers put in the rules variants. I appreciate variant rules because I don't like stick in the muds, um, especially when it's saying you know you should play rules as written or whatever especially when there are certain like with apps and stuff and then they should say you can use an app or you can't but you don't have to sorry that would be a lot better yeah i think i don't like it but for this anyway that's a different argument this <laughs> just reads to you so um it takes away a lot you can just sit back listen to it um and then think about what you're going to do and whether while you're chatting away and you can see what's coming, you can be kind of discussing with each other, aren't you? Like, what are, what's going to happen? Where do you think we're going? And um, it's just been really exciting. Um, it has, though, hasn't it? It has yeah. been quite exciting. With, with the dice that comes with it, you get all these lovely coloured dice, which upgrade in numbers as you progress through and you get better at your attacks. I'd be interested to see where they're going to go with this because at the moment it's fine. I'm rolling two dice, I'm adding two numbers together, taking my little swords and shields that for my damage, all is well. Not having to use your fingers yet. No, but when I, when I get better and stronger towards the end of this game, <coughs> how many am I rolling? And how, when I do with the next act, how many am I rolling there? Because I don't want this to turn into a dice chucker where I'm rolling 49 dice at the end of it for a mad attack. So it'd be interesting to see how they're going to do this. So Succubus, if you are watching this, I, would be, I hope you've got something good up your sleeve. My advice would be grade the dice from D6s to 8s or something like that. Maybe that would be a good idea. Keep it so you're only rolling a few and just make the dice as bigger in, in numbers and perhaps do for something like that. I think that would be a lot better than turning this into maths yeah. on a board, um, because you you know you don't want that, do you? You want to no, get I on with the game. That. Yeah, we just want to <laughs> get on with the game. It's got uh, discovery elements to it. There's a hidden deck. There's a, there's three hidden decks to be fair. There's a big card hidden deck. There's a medium card hidden deck and a small card hidden deck. So there's a legacy element to it in terms of discovery. I think once you've played through the game, you probably wouldn't play through it again. Unless you absolutely want to. Unless you can pick different options, like they don't really come. Yeah, but I, I think your story would still be the same, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. You're still going through the same story, so. Mm. And there's a lot of the story, so a lot of the story would be the same, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's more it's more how well you do determines where you go. Yeah. But the story would still progress in the same way. Yeah. I'm guessing. So, um, I mean, by the time you've gone through this, you. you you're well ready for the next one, aren't you? Is it like <laughs> you think? Oh, I can I can back that Kickstarter and be happy that it's probably going to come out in four years time. <laughs> Do you want to go through it? All yeah, before I return. But um, overall, um, really impressed. Actually, very happy with this game. Happy with the wait. Uh, it's nice to have waited for a game that's uh, not disappointed. You've been so excited about this for so long, haven't you? I know, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was excited about a lot of games that have come out and kind of, you know, just wasn't quite there or, you know, something. If you, it, so if, you, if you're into adventure games and you really want something to get stuck into, um, then definitely go for this. Absolutely. Absolutely. And when, as, when we're allowed to meet people and uh, if you can get a gaming group together for four Go go nuts with this game, absolutely. Make it your regular thing. And COVID allows. Um, but it plays, in my opinion, it plays well fine two player. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, and I've read people who've played it single solo and just used all four. I mean, they must have some serious skill, but they've done it and said that they that they liked it. <laughs> they did. I'm not yeah. sure how they would have done it, but they no. did. But um, again, the game's that interesting. I think that it just wasn't, you know, those kind of complications that you might come up with are just sort of 
drop in the ocean when you mm. when you actually think about how much this game gives you back. Um, so it's been a quite a pleasure to do and, and to play. And obviously I'm not going to go into the story and spoil things for you or give you a good mechanical rundown because that's not really what we do here. But we just want to know, is the game fun? And it is. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, it is, it is. Um, and that's the number one thing we're here, we're here at the base for is fun. Could you get people that have never played board games into this game and bring it down and let them have a go? I'd say yeah. Yeah, as long as they like the theme. Yeah. It, that like, is I the th thing. I think, yeah, as long as they like the theme. But again, that goes for any game in the world, doesn't it? If the theme yeah. isn't in, you're not interested They've in it. They've only played Monopoly. You know, I, I, yeah, I wasn't that interested in Conan, so there was no point in me playing that game, so mm. I just wouldn't have got anything out of it. But This is just my cup of tea, isn't it? Anything Japanese. Yeah, I mean, I was, I'm not a big anime person, mm -hmm. so I was really no one sure, but it doesn't bother me that it is, and I'm enjoying it, so... Um, for me, it's fine. And I think if someone is thinking about playing it, they definitely should. Do it. Yeah, they, yeah, you totally should. You totally should. So I'm happy that it's coming out as well and it's going to be more readily available for people to get hold of. Mm -hmm. There's lots of copies available as well if anybody does want one immediately. You can get them on eBay and things like that. I've seen people selling them. Give it a go. If you've got yeah. the space, let us know what you think as it well. Takes a lot, it takes a lot of space. It does. My seven foot table is completely caked in all of this stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, but let us know what you think. If you have played it and you are playing it, yeah, tell us if you mm -hmm. agree, what your th thoughts are, how um, well are you doing. We've had lots of messages coming through about when we're going to be doing all sorts of different games and the answer is as soon as we get around to it, so we, are getting, <laughs> we are getting through them. We are getting through them. Um, yeah. But we will be doing a lot more stuff um, and hopefully a few live sessions. So we're really looking mm -hmm. forward to all those things. So from the basement, we are going to give it two thumbs up from us. A ghosty white. Um, and we're going to keep playing, aren't we? Definitely. For sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah, stay safe, have some fun and go back to school. And we're there. All or nothing. Ha <laughs> <laughs>